The High Reclaimer, Meaneth creates and he destroys. It is the job of the Reclament Order to assist in the latter. They are an extension of Meaneth's will, and they return souls to the Shaper of Man to add strength to his wars and arcane. Even other religious orders of the Protectorate balk at the unbending standards and principles to which Reclaimers adhere. Before walking from the unadorned cells in which they live and eat in solitude, they don masks of iron that will never be removed. Their last spoken words are their oaths to the order before the mask are sealed and forever after no words escape their lips. Even their prayers are silent. One man who took the oath of the Reclaimer's last breath has risen above his peers. Through this man the divine powers of Meaneth flow without effort as he sends forth clouds of burning ash and causes the unworthy to burst into flames consumed with brutal agony before their lives are snuffed out and their souls sent to Urkane. Early in his reign, Hyark Voyle publicly recognized him as the High Reclaimer, a title denoting absolute unity with the will of the Lawgiver. Never before had a man of this order demonstrated the Warcaster talent, and it was immediately obvious that he would bring tremendous strength to the upcoming Crusades. Those soldiers who have marched at the High Reclaimer's side in battle attest that they know his will without being told. To prepare for each upcoming conflict, he spends countless hours in meditation and tests his limits with a rigorous regiment of exercise and fasting that tempers his body into corded muscle and sinew akin to iron. And battle his sole weapon is a ceremonial torch called Cremator that is kept aflame by the continuous supply of concentrated Minutes Fury. One crushing blow from the great weapon smashes limbs and collapses torsos, rends warjack armor like mortified flesh, and ignites anything it does not immediately demolish. No one is safe from reclamation. It is said Minas whispers to the High Reclaimer during his prayers, naming those who are to be returned to him. Enemies, allies, and even so-called innocent bystanders are often reclaimed with no more foreknowledge than the sudden pressure of the crusade's grip or the cremator's hiss as it delivers the killing blow. Even lesser reclaimers know they must not be deficient in their duties, for failure means their own reclamation, perhaps by the high reclaimer himself. Well, that's kind of convenient if, you know, he's just like told that, hey, you should kill these people. Because honestly, I feel like in battle, like, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes with the Meaneth guys, like, oh, yeah, the Meaneth told me to kill them. I'm like, did he, though? Did he Did he really? Or are you just doing this to do this? But, yeah, the High Reclaimer is a scary dude that utters no words, utters no prayers that you can hear, and swings a flaming mace around, which is terrifying in its own right. But he is a terrifying guy to go up against but let's read his mark 3 to mark 4 changes and see what kind of terribleness he can inflict on people because he is a, a big user of fire like most Aminath casters are alright there appears to be some big changes on this guy that are awesome so we'll start with his stat line his stat line has increased actually he's still a speed 5 Although his mat has been bumped up from a 6 to a 7, so he's a little bit better at hitting stuff. His defense is still a 14. His arm is still a 16. His magic or focus ability has jumped up from a 5 to a 6, so gives him a little bit more focus to play with. And he is a control of 12, so that's a little bit better. His abilities normally. Uh, he still has Soul Taker, so he can reclaim. Uh, when a friendly living model is destroyed while within this model's control range, uh, he gains that model's soul token, and then at the beginning of your control phase, all that soul is turned into focus, so it makes him even more dangerous. However, on top of that, he still has his soul storm ability, so while he has soul tokens on him, any enemy models entering or ending their activation within two of them automatically suffer one point of damage, so any one point or one damage type models will just get decimated trying to attack this guy. And it's within two, so even if they have reach weapons, unless they have like, you know, chain weapons that have a three inch, they're going to be taking that one point of damage, killing them off pretty, pretty crazily. Uh, his weapon, he still has cream, uh, he still has his cremator. Uh, it's a mat seven now, easier to hit, still a range two, still a pow 14 regular, and it's still a magic attack, and it still causes a continuous fire effect. And remember, continuous fire is great, but if he is attacking a model with a immunity to fire, he's still swinging with his normal POW 14, 
So, because it's still a, a bludgeon weapon. So, there you go. Uh, his feet's still the same. It's still a D3 plus 5 friendly models are returned. And it's within... They're placed within two inches of another model in their unit instead of the original three because now two is a standard movement. And they must forfeit their normal movement or combat action that turn they are returned. And... And it doesn't say anything about them uh, not being able to return models that were just killed, so we'll just call it that where it is. Uh, his spell list, he still has Ashes Dashes, so he still has that spell. If he hits the one guy with a POW 10, it jumps off and hits the nearest D3 models at, within four inches with another POW 10, so that's great. Uh, he still has Burning Ash, so it's still a cloud effect that still causes a minus two to attack rolls to models to living enemy models that are in it that don't have immunity to fire. So you still got that one. Uh, Hand of Fate has been replaced with Fortune. Uh, the original Hand of Fate was giving an additional die to attacking damage rolls, and then you discard the lowest roll. Uh, but it's been replaced by Fortune, which just allows you to re-roll any missed attack rolls. So, yeah, that is uh, that is great. Or re-roll them once. All right, so if you attack, you miss. Boom, you can attack again. So, you know, gives everybody a second chance in that unit. Uh, he still has Immolation, uh, which is his standard fire spell that uh, every every forecaster seems to have in the Meaneth group. Uh, it's a fire damage, and then it causes critical fire, suffer continuous fire effect. Uh, one of the major spells that was changed up is Sacrificial Lamb. So the original Sacrificial Lamb is up to two friendly warrior models other than the spellcaster can suffer D3 damage points. And for each damage point dealt... Uh, this way to the model in the spellcaster's battle group. Oh, models in the spellcaster's battle group gain one focus. And they can't gain any more than three focus this way. Sacrificial can only be cast once per turn. Uh, so that old that old reading that's real complicated and kind of annoying has been replaced and simplified. And yeah, they don't do damage points anymore. But the new sacrificial lamb remove one friendly faction warrior model and the spellcaster's control range from play each warjack in the spellcaster's battle group that is currently in his control range gains one focus point then that's it that's the whole spell it still costs one one point it doesn't have a weird damage issue because i feel like you can really you know jack up the old the old way that this was so now you can just remove one guy and you just give one focus, that's it. But you can only still only cast this once per turn. Maybe it was a balanced thing. Probably a balanced thing, that would make sense. But yeah, the High Reclaimer has gotten better, I would say. Um, still has all of his dangerous spells outside of the Hand of Fate being switched out. Um, with his new mat of seven, uh, makes him a lot more dangerous. Uh, especially since he is a POW 14. And with this soul storm kind of gives him an additional protection and with an armor 16 still makes this guy real chunky to have to take on so yeah he is a phenomenal powerhouse but let's 